to YouTube, it's your boy GP, he's on the keys, and there's two keys on this video today. We have Dirty Goods Brexit. Okay, this is the second Dirty Goods video I'm going to be releasing today. But without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm, I don't even feel like wasting time. Let's just go, man. Hey, it has been and was a noble dream in the last century. But today, it has failed. It has turned into a nightmare. Back and forth and forth, back and forth, back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth, back, back and forth and forth, back and forth, back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth. The EU brings freedom of movement to allow multinational companies to move within the European Union and exploit states that have a low workers' rights. In other words, we can use them. And this will lead to the working class people in the country to get paid lower wages because there's a large immigrant population coming over to work for less pay for. The union always works in its best interest, not doing us favours. It's so undemocratic. The rappers are more liberal when they're rapping. They've bullied left-wing countries like Greece while they're bankrupt and collapsing. Raising the age of retirement. Is that democratic by requirements? Now what an idea to stop loans when they were in financial trouble. Now call me inconsiderate, but who's trying to see the big money double? And treat Africa terribly on trade while their economy struggles. Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock and they can't find the exit. The right hand don't know what the left is. This government's truly on some next shit. Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock and they can't find the exit. All we hear is fuck shit that's requested to which account because our brain's been molested. Back. All right, give me a second. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta look into what Brexit is. I gotta look into it because... This is kind of, this doesn't make sense if I'm, does, if I don't know, if I don't really know what's going on. Hold on, I gotta see. So I'm gonna read some notes. I'm gonna read some notes. I'm gonna read some. So basically, what I'm reading is Brexit is, <clears throat> is basically the UK trying to leave the European Union. It says, many effects of Brexit depend on how close the UK will be tied to the EU or whether it, would, it, it withdraws before terms are agreed because I'm reading and it says, Brexit has been delayed multiple times, so the bargain of the, the Brexit will likely reduce the real the UK's real per capita income in the medium and long term. In the, refer, in the referendum itself, damage the economy. Brexit is also likely to reduce immigration from the EEA countries to the UK and pose challenges for UK higher education, academic research, and security. So what I'm so apparently they did is is the european union kind of like a it's like it's, so i'm thinking like the U, the european union is kind of like a financial backer like some type of big authority figure over the government it's like a government over the government is that, is that what it is it says following brexit eu and the eu court of justice will no longer have supremacy over uk laws or supreme court etc the European Union withdrawal act remains relevant as domestic law, which the UK can. So basically, they so basically the UK wants to become their own country, like their own separate like entity, not nowhere, not even included in in the EU. So apparently, this is the the EU is like a big, like a big um, like a, like an umbrella over everybody else. That that's what I'm getting. <laughs> First of all, the sign. He says he's lying to you. Oh my God. Back and forth and forth, back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth. The European Union project has achieved economic stability and peace right after the two world wars. And we don't want to have another, of course. Being a member of the EU allows the UK citizens to travel and work all around Europe without restriction. Now, what more would you want from a system? When London's one of the top financial centers in the world, companies can passport financial services into Europe and it works. Without being part of the EU, financial services and manufacturers will relocate to other countries. So fiscally, that's gonna hurt. We don't want a financial crisis. It's all on the table. Can we finalize this? It's a huge financial consequence for leaving. More borders for the Irish. Being a member enables action on big issues like climate change. That we can sign more trade deals and have influence and more power on the world stage. Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock because they can't find the exit. So, so apparently he's saying like the EU is kind of like a like a gateway to a lot of other opportunities. Like he said, <clears throat> without the EU, we can't export our like we we won't we, we won't have a reliable way to export our goods. To other countries even, even away like and plus 
like getting goods like exporting and importing goods is the good way to is a, the biggest way that a lot of countries make money so apparently they're going to if, if if this side says if they don't if they don't leave the european union that they will be it will be a better financial decision to not leave the European Union. Because then if you leave the European Union, you're basically responsible for everything that you have to do. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you lose your safety net in, in a sense. That's what, I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Like, I already know the people, I already know I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some paragraphs. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to read. I want, I want you to, I want y'all to educate me, man. Like, please educate me on this. Please. The right hand don't know what the left is. This government's truly on some next shit. Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock and they can't find the exit. All we hear is fuck shit that's requested to which account because our brain's been molested. Back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. The European Union is in a desperate need of reform, which is accepted by most people. Including Remainers It's incredibly inefficient So many finances have gone missing And then it never deals with the problems Like when you spend the rent money on trainers It's so distasteful The whole thing is financially wasteful Once a month European Parliament Move from here to there costing millions And that money could be spent on billions of things to do for civilians But who's checking the accounts? The auditors haven't signed them off for about 11 years now Wow, so much corruption and misspending And the UK's been held back With trade deals that are constantly pending they want the UK like the US, one army, the pound and the duress, united under euro currency. But this is not what UK wanna see. Honestly, who made up this policy? This is just one big hypocrisy. Tony Blair and David Cameron, both tried and had no legs to stand on. Being a member of the EU means we can't have lower taxes for business. So we can't be a low tax haven like Singapore. Tell me what is this? Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock and they can't find the exit. The right hand on. Okay, so now they're talking about how the European Union is a corrupt institution bars and how being in the European Union would be uh, would lead to higher taxes and okay I, I see I see what you're getting there this is kind of like how the to me this is kind of a representative of like how the of how like it was in America when like the early colonies when the British had control over it because you gotta think oh I think, of course, there were benefits. There were benefits to being with Europe, and they were also there were also there were also cons for being in Europe. Number one, I think some of the benefits you had you had protection. You had you had a, the biggest army in the world at the time. You had the biggest military in the world as your protection. You had a constant trade partner that you can easily trade with and make and and make money and make a living. But there are a whole lot of cons. The taxes, the it was it was a lot of beef. Um, the states, the so-called states, wanted their own rights, and um, the British were not going to let them have their own rights within the American states. And then it just it it, it was bound to happen. There, it, just America was not going to. I feel like. If the Revolutionary War hadn't happened in seventeen in the seventeen seventies, it would have happened twenty. It would have happened later. It would have happened nonetheless. Like the American people would have wanted to be on their own. That that's that's just how Americans are. That's I'm telling you. That's how they are. Know what the left is? This government's truly on some next shit. Everybody's talking about Brexit in a deadlock and they can't find the exit. All we hear is fuck shit that's requested to which account because our brain's been molested. Back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. So they go back, back and forth and forth. Back, back and forth. But yeah, definitely somebody, some, I already know somebody is going to give me all the details. 
please give me all the details. I want, I want I want to be informed. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to I don't want to come into this not knowing what I'm talking about. And I, and I feel, you know what I mean? Like, but anyway, thanks again for watching. Like I said, please let me, please fill me in, cause. A lot of you, because of course the, the people in the UK have their own political issues, just like the people in the, just like the US has their own political issues. Like, it's getting to the point where I barely even watch anymore, because I'm tired of seeing Trump every day. But anyway, <laughs> thanks again for watching. You like if you enjoyed, subscribe here and you see the channel. Uh, don't forget to share the video wherever you share the videos at. Um, also turn on my post notifications so you don't miss upload. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, be safe. Have a great day. Stay on the grind. I'm out. Peace.